Manchester United star De Gea toiled against Barcelona on Tuesday night as the Red Devils' Champions League adventure came to a brutal end. The Spain international conceded a soft goal from Lionel Messi at the now camp, with his teammates unable to respond. For De Gea, it was the latest in a series of mistakes from the Manchester United star, with the shot stoppers' performance levels beginning to tell off. As things stand, the Red Devils are yet to tie their number one down to a new contract. De Gea's current deal expires in 2020 and negotiations have been going on for some time. And the independents say there is real fear at United that the 28-year-old will refuse to commit. So far, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side have opted against giving him the salary he craves. De Gea is seeking pay parity with Alexis Sanchez, who earns a huge £400,000 a week at Old Trafford. And the independents say both Juventus and PSG are ready to meet the goalkeeper's financial demands. Recent reports have claimed United are already pondering replacements for De Gea should he leave. Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak is supposedly the top transfer target with the Slovenia international potentially on the move this summer. But Gianluigi Donnarumma of AC Milan is also in the sights. Meanwhile, a former United captain Gary Neville has urged De Gea to bounce back after his Barcelona nightmare. The David De Gea second goal took the game away from United, deflated the whole team, took the spirit out of them. Neville told Bain Sports, I don't know where it came from. I know people have said that David De Gea has made some mistakes in the last 12 months but not many like that for Manchester United. In fact I can't think of any like that for Manchester United. It was a bad goal to lose, it will be interesting to see what he says, I hope he comes out and fronts up, I think it's important when you make a mistake of that nature, in your home country. He's now an experienced player, I hope he's the one that's coming out and explaining it and I think that will bode well for him. Let's block ads. Why?